that. Um, here's the attachment that will go onto the rig. This is the attachment that will come up from the, the uh, actual line and be clipped onto the line. And this is the float that can just move backwards and forwards. What this float will do, I'm hoping it will cast okay because I've got the weight behind it and that would be okay. But what the float will do is the line will go down, hold on the bottom with the weight, and then this float will just float upwards, take up the strain on the actual line itself. That's keeping the hooks all, all nice and the snoods will go out in, in the right direction and the rest of the uh, line from the rod to the C can be at an angle and that will keep the hopefully that will keep my rig all nice and straight and make it more so that's to the, the theory fish. behind it let's see how I get on there it is look at this Ladrum Bay I mean it's, it's lovely with the light behind me um, yeah now the tide's coming in a bit I think I'll um, I think I'll try and pull it in and see what sort of whether there is anything. I've got to change the bait now anyway, so it's about time. I'm going to put a bigger bait on here as well. There he is. First catch of the day. My little dogfish. Hello, sweetheart. There he is. Right. I'm going to put that one back. I know, I know, I know. You want to go back to the sea? All right. I'm going to let you go back to the sea now. Just like a snake, really, aren't they? I don't know, they remind me more of a lizard than anything. Look at those. Oh, look at that. Look at that mouth of yours. Right. Well, I, uh, I was lucky to get that one in because, um, well, look, there he is. Okay, so I'm going to put him back now. But the reason why I was lucky to get him back in, yeah, it's quite a steep slope here. Um, I, I, uh, the knot I tied, come on, my darling. Ooh, nearly got me um, but he's gone anyway so um, yeah the reason why I was lucky to get him in was um, I, I, when I went to move the hook the hook came away from the actual line so I've got to retie that again on, on there um, but I was able to take the, to, the hook out because it had hooked him absolutely perfectly in the uh, in the bottom jaw but uh, yeah, oh well, another Oh, fish. what a pity. I just, I just lost it in, in, uh, in there. Oh no, 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 look. <laughs> oh right, it is a massive fish. Well, it's a, it's a fish. All right, so I'm going to take a photograph of him and, uh, and go from there. Right. Oh, come on, my darling. Let's have a look at you. Oh, right, well, he's nice. Oh, beautiful. Well, hmm, how oh, lovely fish he is. Good. Oh well, he's only a little, small little fish. Let's put him back. Let's get this hook out. Oh, come on. There we go. And we will just take him down there. Just release him back to the wild again. Oh, he's back. Ooh, hey. Oh, he's keen to get back. He is keen to get back. Come on, sweetheart. Go on the water. Off you go. Yeah, right. Well, he's gone back, okay. Hmm. He was only a little one. Hey. I'm starting to catch fish. I'm not complaining. <coughs> Here's all my stuff set up. Thermos flask. That's quite good. I've had a couple of cups of coffee. Spilt some all over my chair, unfortunately. Cleaned it up as best as I can, but I bet the back of my trousers where I've been sitting on it don't look too good. All that sea and all the noise. God. Well, I have managed to catch things today. I have caught um, good old dogfish. Hey. And um, I, I, I caught another thing, pouting or something like that. Um, but uh, I've moved, moved location. There's another bloke down there fishing. The bait I'm using, funny enough, is... Um, little bit of sardine only because sardine really really kicks out quite a lot of smell but um if the fish don't recognize it um they're not going to go for it so i've got a sand eel on one and sardine on another one um the sardine one did actually look like it was they were interested initially but um 
I've not seen any more movement in that rod. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. Well, you could have quite a lot of patience to do fishing. I mean, it, it's all worth it if you catch something. You think you don't mind the two or three hours that you've been. Um, I have caught things today, which is pretty good, so I don't mind too much. I'm going to pull in this line, the uh, left-hand rod, because I I've tried it on sardines and I've wrapped it all up there, but I want to see how much sardine is left of it, whether the crabs have got it or exactly what's going on. So, yeah, let's just wind that in and, and we'll have a look at it and see what's going on there. I've got more sardines if I need to put another bit of sardine on it. I can do. Oh, right. Oh, no, this is not good news. It's snagged up. But it feels like it's snagged up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk, walk down the beach in the hope of freeing that line. Didn't want to come that way. Oh, right. Yeah, I've lost the rig. Oh, that's a pity. But lesson learnt. Snagged up there, so that's a shame that was. Because that was quite a... Well, quite a good rig. And, uh, and quite a good weight. And I did say I was going to use spark plugs. So you know what? I might go back to using spark plugs. That's the second one I've lost today. So I'm definitely going to go back to using spark plugs. What a nuisance. Right, well we're back in business. The line's gone slack. And it's gone tight. So let's get this in and see what's going on. Well, the line went slack, but I don't know what's happening. It doesn't feel like there's a fish there. No, right, what happened there then? That was a strange one. Alright. Oh, Alright, oh, well that's what happened. All the lines snagged up. Oh not good. Wrong well, wrong type of line to be honest. Wrong wrong rig. That's uh you know, lesson learnt on that one. Just to give you a bit of a progress support. Um I've moved uh location a little bit. I was fishing where that rock is, over there, and now I'm fishing here. More towards the middle of the beach. I'm figuring that the uh the fish are going to come around from one rock to another rock. If they can't find something interesting at one place, they might try somewhere else. Um, there's another fisherman joined me. Oh, he's, he's on the same beach as me. Seems alright. Had a bit of a chat with him. Seems as good as gold. So um, I did say I'd come up and if he's caught, if he catches anything, I want to see it and I want to know what he's catching and what he's catching it on. So I did say that I would come up and well, see this him. What I'm going to try right. now? I've got a uh, four ounce. Um, weight on there, number four, and um, I've got a sand eel wrapped up, cut in half, but wrapped up on a small hook there, really. And then I've got this float set up. This is um, what I'm going to try today. If you don't try these things, you never learned here, but uh, I'm going to have that so that will go in the water, that will sit on the bottom, the weight will sit on the bottom, and then it should present this, this uh, sand eel has a nice bit of bait so we'll try that I'll let you know how I get on well I'm sharing this um, this little cave with a dead cormorant um, but uh, you can see it's already lost one foot there but look at this <clears throat> I didn't realize they did this this cormorant has got a ring on its leg MA 13528 
can't read the rest of it. My eyesight isn't that good. But um, you know what? This cormorant may have been on a on a bit of a journey somewhere along the lines. I might look that up when I get home. I think I'll Google it and see what they say about it. Well, um, you know what? Sometimes there's more to this fishing than people let on. I've just had that rod, uh, the first rod on the left hand side, or I'll say left hand side. Um, it was doing everything right, it was bending and, and it was twitching and goodness knows what else. And I thought, I do not want to miss this fish. So I'll go down to the water's edge, pick up the rod very gently, wound it in very slowly, got down to the water's edge, lifted the rod as fast as what I could do while I was reeling it all in to get the breakaway weight to um, free up, just in case it was still gripping and the fish hadn't lifted it. And uh, pulled it in as fast and excited as what I could do. Um, no, the fish hadn't lifted it and there wasn't a fish there. <laughs> I mean, when I got it in, the, the, the bait had been nibbled away at. Um, quite a lot of the bait was missing, so I had to put another uh, sand deal on it. Um, oh well, it's got to keep on trying. You've got to love it, and I do love it. Um, well, just now that second rod definitely had something interesting in it. It was vibrating like anything. Um, whether it just had a little bit of bait cotton or not, I don't know. Probably did. Uh, look at it going there. Yeah, you know what? Um, got something tugging at that hasn't it it's got something you can imagine that um that sand sand deal which is the bait wrapped up in a little bit of cotton and it, uh, there's something there look at it tugging it pulling it oh, i'm gonna get that one in hopefully oh i hope so i hope so i'd love to have something to show you oh it really doesn't feel like very much oh right No, no, I can see my float coming in and nothing behind it. Oh, that's a pity. But we'll, we'll take a look at the, the, we'll take a look at the sand deal. I mean, I can always put another sand deal on it, but, um, oh, a bit too hasty, a bit too, a bit too hasty, but just goes to show that that float was working. That idea actually did work. Yeah, look, it's had one of my sand deals. Hmm, I'm going to throw that out again. This hopefully will sort itself out in the water and be like that. Hmm, could do a straightening that, that out a bit. Let's uh, cast it out again and see what happens. It was definitely, definitely been nibbled at. So where I was casting was over there. Where yeah, those birds are flying away now, so I'm just going to cast out again. Hmm, not much distance. But it don't have to be. Sometimes it ain't all about the distance. Right, is that? Oh, sorry about the sunlight. Yeah, I'll just take up the slack a little bit. Perfect. Well, now we've got a little bit of action going on with the um, the other rod. That was a shame when I wound it all in and didn't have anything. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I mean, that's all the fun of it, isn't it? You know. But um, I would have loved to have had a, a fish on there to be able to show you. But something's definitely interested in it and um you know that's the one that got away oh the wind's picking up a little bit now so a lot of movement in those rods is purely the wind that's moving them from side to side but just now it was down and up and something was biting hmm i always bring it in again put fresh sand deal on there and try again 